Okay, here we have lesson 1.1 axioms for a field. And this is video one in that lesson, axioms in addition. I'm going to start with the closure property. If we have two numbers, A and B, and we're calling them, we're calling them numbers, um, then there is only uh, one number where if we add the two, A plus B, then this is called their sum. So in other words, the two numbers are added, they're closed under addition. You get, you add two numbers together, you get a third number, which is their sum. Okay, and that's known as the closure property. The um, commutative uh, property of addition, uh, that's where we have two numbers such as a plus b is equal to b plus a. So in other words, 2 plus 3 is 5, and 3 plus 2 is 5. They're equivalent. And that's the commutative property of addition. Associative uh, property of addition. And uh, that's where we have A plus B plus C, where we have parentheses around the first two numbers. And so now we would add those A and B first and then add C. Well, you can switch the parentheses from between the first two to the last two and the sum is still going to be the same. So 2 plus 1, let's say, if we said 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 3 is 6. Or if we said, if we put the parentheses around the 1 plus 3, that's 4, plus 2, that's 6. That's the associative property of addition. And next we have the existence of a zero uh, basically there's one there's one and only one number called zero not O but zero such that Um, we'll call this some number a plus zero is equal to a. And um, this would also be known as the identity property of addition. And then the last we have the existence of a negative. And that's where we have, um, if A is a number, then there's one and only one number X. And there is one, well, one and only one number X, uh, such that we'll use ST for such that A plus X equals to zero. So this number is called the negative of A and is denoted by negative A. So in other words, if we subtracted A from both sides, then we get X 
is equal to negative a. So that if we put substitute negative a back into x, a plus a negative a, we get zero. Okay, so the existence of a negative is basically when you have a plus some number unknown equals to zero, then we have some negative that makes it zero. And that's our, uh, that's all there is for the axioms of addition.